Good day viewers, my name is Mr. Nyati, your presenter. I'm back again with another video, this time around proceeding from question B5, which is the last video that was posted, to question B6 of section B, 2024 GCE Science Paper 2 Pass Paper. May I suggest that uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, like, share the video and also leave a comment on the comment section to give me feedback let's get started we proceed to question b6 question b6 reads an element a is in group one of the periodic table another element n is in group seven okay so we know that from this information we can gather some data that uh, these elements, the, the one in group 1 has a valence of 1. The one in group 7 has also a valence of 1. Please note that I didn't say valence electron. Of course, the one in group 1 has valence electron of 1. But the one in group 7 has valence electrons of 7. But when we're talking about the valency, we are the valency, the one written like this. Valency. We are basically talking about the combining power of an element, okay? The number of electrons that play a role in each element uh, for it to acquire stability, especially uh, in ionic bonding. So in group 7, how many electrons does an element need for it to be stable? One, that is the one we are referring to as valence. And those in group 1, how many electrons does it need to lose or is it supposed to lose for you to acquire stability one that is what we are calling valence so at least from there we can say that they both have a valence of one and we know that one has to lose the other one has to gain so this type of bonding is basically ionic bonding from that information which is here that is what we can gather so far and uh, we also know that there are properties of ionic bonding, which is uh, soluble in solubility. There are solubility in water, you know, and also the boiling and melting points. And also we all know, we also know the fact that uh, they, they, they have a property of conductivity of electricity when in molten or aqueous state. So now let's get to the questions. Question A says, write one only one property of the compound formed when a and n reacts so at least we know that a and n when they react they will form what we call a covalent compound okay and uh, this will be a a n of course if we use equations we're going to say there should be a two here and uh, the equation is going to be balanced like this, okay? Because this is a diatomic molecule, the group 7 elements, they exist as diatomic molecules. So if it is re to react in an equation like this, this is what it would for. But we are looking at bonding, where it loses an electron and the other one gains an electron. Now, the property of these uh, uh, compounds, one is that they are soluble in water, they are soluble in water, but insoluble in uh, organic compounds. The number two, uh, they uh, they have high melting point and high boiling point. This is because of the strong electrostatic forces that exist between the ions. The other one is that they conduct electricity in molten state or in aqueous state. And then this compound actually uh, forms what we call a crystalline shape. And also, it is a solid at room temperature and pressure. So the answer to question one would be one of the following. One of the following would be the answer. Okay. So we'll get one of, the, of these to be the answer, which is the compound is soluble in water. Just pick one. Any one of these is the answer to this question, which says, write one property of the compound formed when element A and, a and N react. Then B, what type of bonding exists in the compound formed when the two elements react? Of course, we have talked about that. It's ionic bonding. 
The other name for ionic bonding is electrovalent bonding. So for B, this would be the answer. We we'll proceed to C. C says, um, how does the reactivity of elements in group 1 differ from that of elements in group 2? So what we can talk about here is that uh, when you go to the periodic table as uh, a topic in the grade 11, uh, um, grade 11 syllabus, you realize that uh, one of the things we talk about is uh, the reactivity of groups, okay? And what we know is that uh, the reactivity increases down the group for the group 1 elements, okay? Or you can also say the reactivity decreases as you go up the group, okay? And also for the group 7 elements, the reactivity decreases as you go down the group. Or you can say it increases as you go up. The group so it's vibe it's a vice versa thing here so the answer to this question would be this here this would be our answer the reactivity increases down the group for group one elements whereas or oh wow reactivity decreases as you go down the group uh, for group uh, for for group seven Okay, so we need to complete here by saying for group 7. Alright, and uh, you can also say the reactivity decreases as you go up the group for group um, 1, whereas the reactivity increases as you go up the group for group 7. So one of those could be the answer. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.